goal. In theme three in GRISP, our goal is to come up with a new generation of more sustainable, more productive, more environmentally friendly rice-based production systems for different regions uh, in the world and of course also in particular for Asia where we know that there's a lot of pressure on land, on water, where labor costs are rising and population growth is still substantial and so we are being forced uh, with the same amount or even less land and water and labor to produce more rice in the future and if possible also higher quality rice and do it with a reduction in greenhouse gases, with a reduction in pesticide use and if possible also with a more efficient use of other inputs such as fertilizer. So in 2011 and in some cases already starting a little bit earlier we've had I think many exciting new initiatives scientists in interdisciplinary manner are starting to think about what could those future new rice production systems look like? How can we transform a typical, let's say, double crop, transplanted rice system in the humid tropics, a dry season crop and a wet season crop, into more intensified but at the same time also more sustainable production systems? So we have a number of new what we call experimental platforms where scientists are doing this exploratory work looking at the future. Can we grow three crops instead of two? What should these three crops be? Rice and something else. How can we do it? How do we need to mechanize this? What will be the long-term implications on soil health, on the environment? How can we make these systems fine-tuned? How can we really optimize to achieve all of the goals that we want to achieve uh, when we talk about sustainable agriculture. And that includes concepts such as uh, site-specific nutrient management, water-saving irrigation, ecological engineering for pest control that need to be brought together uh, and also in a practical sense that farmers can actually use those ideas, these principles, and apply them to their fields. So we have started in 2011 a number of those initiatives both on the research sites but also already working with partners in the private sector, in the public sector, in the civil society sector on those ideas, and the concepts and how farmers in particular uh, can be benefiting from those.